Hey, I'm Rachel J, and this is Cultivator Kitchen. Today we're making potato cucumber soup. I have so many cucumbers. We've harvested more than 200 this year. I've done a lot of pickling, and I'm also finding innovative ways to use it in recipes that are super delicious. I also just took about 35 pounds of potatoes out of my garden as well. So I made up this soup just based on the two things I have most of on hand right now, potatoes and cucumbers with some fresh herbs, and it tastes amazing, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna use today. Obviously the star of the recipe is cucumbers. So I'm gonna use three large cucumbers from my garden. I believe this one is a market more, possibly also this one. And this one is a Japanese jibai cucumber. So three large cucumbers, whatever kind you got. And I'm also gonna use one cup of chopped potatoes. These are red and yellow potatoes from my garden use any kind that you have. Spices, I'm using one teaspoon each, paprika, garlic, onion, and sea salt. One cup of sliced onion or half a large onion and three garlic cloves. These are also from my garden. And for liquids, I'm using equal parts veggie broth and oat milk, two cups and two cups. And that's it. We'll top off this soup with some fresh cracked black pepper and fresh dill from the garden. If you don't have fresh dill, you can use any herb that you have. But I think dill and cucumbers and potatoes just goes together amazingly well. Let's get started. All the cucumber is cut up. You can see that's quite a lot of cucumber. We're maximizing our cucumber usage with this recipe. Here's my Instapot. I'm gonna cook in this tonight, even though I'm not gonna use the pressure cook feature. I am just gonna hit saute mode and turn that on and we're gonna cook everything that way, but you could obviously do it on the stove as well, on medium high with regular pot. I'm gonna stir the spices in and then I'm gonna let this come up to temperature and just let this dry saute for about five minutes. been five minutes so I'm gonna put in two cups of veggie broth and now I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes to soften the potatoes while that's simmering let's go outside and pick some dill and there we go I went ahead and chopped up all the dill that we just harvested and I'm gonna be using that on top of the soup the soup has been simmering for about 10 minutes and you can see that the potatoes are pretty soft. They're not fully cooked, but they're pretty soft. So now I'm gonna add the cucumbers and our oat milk. This smells so amazing. I'm really excited for this. It's gonna be our dinner tonight. So I'm gonna stir all this together and then I'm gonna let it simmer for another 10 minutes and then we're just gonna use the immersion blender to make it all smooth. Everything's nice and simmered. I actually let this go 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes, which I think is a pretty good time because there's a lot. And now it's just time to blend it up. I went ahead and took the Instapot liner out of the Instapot for when I'm going to immersion blend. It will also hopefully help this cool off faster because it's super, super hot. So if you don't have a hand immersion blender, which can go right in here then go ahead and spoon it into a regular blender and make sure to be very careful because it's super hot you might want to do it in small batches if you're going to use a regular blender so once you're done blending especially if you have a high powered one like i do it might have foamed up a little bit just stir it and give it a few minutes and this will go down. We need to let it cool anyway because it's super, super hot. I did leave some, there you go, it's starting to go down already. I did leave some pieces in here. I didn't want it completely smooth so that there's a little bit of texture to the soup. 
It's been about 10 minutes and you can see that the foam has gone away and the soup is thickened. It's still steaming, as you can tell, so it's still very hot, but the more you let it sit, the more it will thicken. But I think this is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and taste this, add more salt if you need it. For me, one teaspoon is probably fine. Yep, that was perfect. So now it's time to serve it up. And now I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. I hope you guys are gonna love this soup and enjoy all the fresh produce we can get this time of year. If you make this, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.